my shackled high. I don't know, man. Hold it where it's most I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try how hold it high. I'm glad it didn't come from high bar. Yes. Alright. Yeah, so squatting is out, at least with the bar. Those straps did not work for me at all. Bar was swaying, didn't feel very comfortable with it. So Glenn decided to go ahead and do some squats. Did a couple of sets here with 335 pounds. He's getting better, a lot stronger in the squat, doing a lot better at keeping his chest up and everything. And I think he's gonna actually come back and start his big chest. yards here soon in terms of squats and for oh. me nice. I just have to get a nice. I think that's going to be my next purchase for the gym until then I get to do hack squats and these are something that I did a little bit of when we were training last year for the car squat event. and it carried over pretty well but I never really went above 355 pounds on this thing as far as I can remember and it is pretty difficult so this first set here that I'm showing you is after I've already done uh, 20 reps with ramping up from 200 to 300 and you can see there my foot I was playing around with it and my foot kept sliding and we decided that we needed to change the platform make sure that didn't happen and Glenn here on his second set again looking a lot better and I actually think his second set looks a little bit better than his first definitely going to be keeping box weights and I think a lot of improvement with his squat form and keeping tight keeping his back up has to do with box squats and you can still see that he does want to lean over, but instead of collapsing over and creating a good sure line, he's still hey. coming out. And we just got to make sure that depth is staying there. The box that we have is a little bit high. And you can see me from the side here. Now I went up uh, to 345. The hack squat doesn't quite go all the way to depth. I'm still playing around with my feet, trying to make sure that I'm getting as much activation as I can and this is just really interesting I, I let my butt touch the pad because I'm not going to end up having to pull myself away from the pad I just wanted to try 395 see how it felt and man it is a big difference so I can do several sets with a bar at 405 and 395 just this one set took it all out of me so after this i went back down and did a couple of more sets but let's be honest we don't really care about the hack squat so sorry for making you guys watch as much as i did but i did two more sets back off and glenn decided to do 225 trying to push as many reps as he can keeping this in here but speeding up a little bit And definitely got to keep making sure that we're improving on the reps. So we're going to be doing one squat day for Glenn that is kind of heavy. And then either rep day or some box squats. On to Wednesday. Decided to do deadlifts. Now the plan for this Wednesday was to start a peaking cycle. So keeping the reps low and the weight a little bit higher. Now some people like to start off with a lot of volume. This is off of the program that I ran in December yeah, you into that too gave me a decent PR. I went in and got a 550 pound deadlift and I was hoping to start a little bit closer to 5 Three. reps. Four, five. See Glenn here struggling to get through and when I did this it just was killing my hands and for those who saw the 
last stream and you we did a cycle, uh, he would deadlift 405, I would deadlift 405, we just kept going, and we each got 10 reps. Well, we were letting the bar slip in our hands, and we both tore some decent old skin off of our hands, and definitely not recovered from that yet. See there, I'm just not enjoying the hand pain at all. But I was really hoping to start higher than this. But since we are both cutting weight right now, I guess I can. And Glenn decided to go up north on Friday, so I just decided to do some rotator cuff on my uninjured shoulder. I want to make sure that that stays healthy. And Monday it was his birthday. He decided he didn't want to work out. And so I just did some more arm work on the left shoulder, making sure that it stays healthy. Next Wednesday, we decided to just do rep work. So I decided to start with the hack squat, keep it very light, and just go for a bunch of reps. Tried a couple of different things with the hack squat on this day, but it was a very interesting feeling. Not being able to put the weight on the back and not being able to use that hip drive and glute activation to finish the top of the squat definitely puts a lot more emphasis on the quads and I'm feeling it more in the hamstrings than I would normally do in the squat. One. So it's interesting. And Glenn, as Two. I said, we want to make sure that we're keeping some reps in there. Three. So trying a little bit of different Four. work here. So if it makes Five. nauseous, I apologize. But Glenn did Six. three sets, aiming to get 10 plus on Seven. squats with 225. And he did really good. Eight. Just trying to make sure that we keep that in there. Nine. As I mentioned before, a I think there's a little bit of depth issue oh, coming ten. in from doing box squats a little bit high and not stretching as much as he used to. Oh, so we're going to make sure that we're keeping mobility in the Just routine. Up. And it's something that I'm worried about, too, because with the hack squat, wow. I can't go down as deep as I would normally go. So we're going to be keeping an eye on that, 13. making sure that we're getting a good on, depth. Up. I do think that next year, depending on how my shoulder 14. ends up doing, I'm going on, to try let's get 15. and do powerlifting at, at least one meet. That was something I wanted to do 15. this year, nice. but obviously that's not a hard right now. So I want to make sure that I keep my squat and deadlift where they should be. And then I just did quite a few sets of this in between the hack squats, just trying to make sure that I'm keeping the hamstrings building up at the same level. And I didn't record it, but I also did some GHR work and just some hyperextensions in combination with that. And just for fun, I decided to leave this in here. I wanted to, since I'm using hack squat anyways, try and hit different parts of the leg muscles, making sure that I'm getting a well-rounded development around the knee, making sure that I'm keeping the quads and everything healthy. So that's something I haven't been doing with a straight bar, and I had mentioned that I wanted to bring up some leg areas, and this is a good opportunity to do that, just playing around with different things. And Friday, the last day of this video, I started off with the deadlifts and worked up to 455. Now this was where we decided to do multiple sets of 455, trying to get triples. And you can see here definitely having a little bit harder time on this than we would hope for. And here's his third rep, and you can see there he's just really having a hard time driving his hips through. He's just putting a lot of that in his lower back and his hamstrings. So we got to work on that, making sure that his hips are shooting through. And driving your hips into the bar is very important. For lift. But I think the box spots are going to help with that, and I think that we're going to have to do some reps on deadlifts. And we're going to start doing some slow negative, which is something we haven't done. And I just wanted to show you this, because this is how I, the only type of arm work I really get to do, and I have to pull down the bar a really weird way so that I don't hurt my rotator cuff in any way. And I've been doing this on every workout day, and so I decided to put it in this day and actually record at least the first set. 
So just doing some tricep press downs. I've been alternating between trying to go a little bit heavier but still keep the reps high, 8 to 12, and then going a little bit lighter and trying to get 20 reps. And then switching over and doing either bicep curls in the cable, like I'm doing today, or doing preacher curls. Now, one of the things that I was a little bit worried about on curls was you can see here my upper arm starts to move forward. So it is putting a little bit of stress on the shoulders. It doesn't hurt at all, but I've got to keep my eye on that and make sure that that's not aggravating anything. And I uh, definitely need to stop moving my head for it. I noticed that in this video, I'm kind of reaching for the top with my head. I've got to address that, make sure that I'm not cheating myself out of some range of motion. And Glenn got to bench, so he did quite a few sets at 225 and I believe this was the second set and I think we only did three sets but he might have done five sets on this so I'm just going to put two but I will get that video on the injury out shortly as always go lift something heavy take it easy